Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the uh, new Halo Top. These are the Keto Halo Tops. Uh, so they're going to be more calories than your typical Halo Top, but they're going to be targeted for people who have the Keto lifestyle. These were $5.49 each at Kroger. And they do say, if you miss Keto Series on the bottom, they do say it. It's kind of a what would you say? Is that a We're rose coppery. gold? We're See, it kind of, in certain lights, it kind of looks copper, but and then if you move it, it kind color. of looks rose gold. Yeah, but it says Keto Series around the top, too, so you can see it there. I have the banana cream pie. And I have the peanut butter chocolate. So the banana cr cream pie has eight net carbs per pint. It's it's, same, same thing for mine. It says frozen dessert. It says, um, let's not rush this. I need time to soften up. We know you're ready for a delicious frozen treat with just eight net carbs and five grams of sugar per pint. We are too. All we ask is that you don't rush this too quickly. It's best to leave us out for a few minutes to soften up for a more creamy experience. That's all Halo Tops pretty much. Really, it is. Any Halo Top you get, you just need to do that. Unless you like to chip away, chip at, away it. at it like I do because it takes longer. We've had these laying out for probably 15 minutes or so, so plenty of time. Um, so this, there are three servings in the container, two thirds cup, 88 grams is 170 calories, or you can eat the entire container for 500 calories. And this is a full pint. Mm -hmm. So 500 calories, I still don't think that's bad. It says, let the spoon do the heavy lifting. And you saw, had the seal. So there is a swirl in here. Uh, the texture is, um, I can tell you already, it's a it very looks different. different. It, it looks crumbly. It is. It is like um, chalky. Yeah, that's what it looks like. Yeah, so it, it might not feel that way on your tongue. But it's, I mean, literally, it's like um, chalky. Okay. There's nothing to see, really. No, well, it's really I'll, just... I'll hold it up, but there's, there's really nothing yeah, to see. Yeah, uh, so this is supposed to be banana cream pie. Okay. I see some, like, little pieces of chocolate. So, when you... Normally, with ice cream, when you do that with your spoon, it would be creamy, and you would <laughs> never hear me do that. Yeah. Yeah. I like a banana. I was gonna say I taste banana. The texture does, if you let it sit in your tongue, it does kind of dissolve into a creaminess. Oh gosh. Oh, um, I had. Oh wow. The chocolate. I had just the chocolate by itself. Don't, don't ever do yeah, that. Yeah, don't do that. Don't do that. It, that is the most bitter thing. It's oh my nasty. gosh. Yeah. It's horrible. Yeah. Oh, it's horrible. Anyway, That's the like, texture. The texture's not. Horrific. It's not horrible. I think you get used to it, but it is um, it is kind of like uh, wet paper when you first put it in your mouth, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And it kind of dissolves into like this kind of a creamy thing, but it's, um, yeah, it's a little... I don't like the banana because it tastes like an old brown banana. Mm -hmm. If you don't mind old brown bananas, then you'll, you won't mind this, but I don't like that brown banana flavor. I can't believe you've eaten more than a couple of bites of it. Well, Ugh. the more, honestly, the reason I have is because the more I looked in this bowl, the more I saw different things to try. For uh, example, I see little chocolate pieces. well, for example, I got up the chocolate piece all by itself. I got the ice cream all by itself. And then there was something very, like this small yellow right uh, here. A little yellow thing. So I saw one of those small yellow things off by itself, and I thought, well, maybe that's supposed to be the uh, cream. cream pie part. Maybe that's supposed to feel like a pie piece. It doesn't. Um, it blends in when you have it with the rest. It just blends in, and there's not much added flavor. You do taste the banana. Most um, of what you taste is the banana. I, and you get a little bit of that chocolate. And like you said, it's kind of bitter. I would not get that. Yeah, I I, it's... <laughs> It's not, it's not even the, um, the flavor's not terrible, although I would, wouldn't 
put it on my worst enemy eating that chocolate again. I mean, that chocolate is so good. Don't you agree though, it's a very, very brown banana, like a very overripe yes, banana. Yes, it is. It, for me, it's mainly the texture. There's absolutely no creaminess to it at all. Unless you let it melt on your tongue. I, I don't know. I just didn't. I, it's to me. I, I just didn't enjoy. It. If you're on keto and you're desperate for ice cream, this is this is actually some of the better ones we've had of keto products that were like made specifically for keto. Right. I'm thinking of like muffins that we've got oh, and things okay. like that. Okay. Uh, as far as the dessert, we've had um, little cakes you can microwave and all kinds of stuff. All of those were horrible textures. This is probably the better of all those, mm -hmm. except you really like that one brand. But, um, I don't know, it takes some getting used to. Yeah. So, this is a peanut butter chocolate, and it's 210 calories per serving, or 630 for the container. So, to me, uh, uh, that does not sound too bad. 630 for, because it is, and look. Well, Kiko, you're not worried about the calories there's as a, much. There's a, a little bit of peanut butter on top. You think we're going to waste that? No. No, no. But I do see peanut butter. She's afraid to go too deep because she'd flick it out. I'm door. afraid I'll flick it out. <laughs> it's easy to Now, play. I can tell you right now, those hunks of chocolate that you're going to see, I'm sure. Yeah, you got it right there. I'm sure they're the same bitter, 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 bitter chocolate that are in there. You have to eat one by itself. I don't want Triple to. dog dare you to eat one by itself. It's just like a little chip. Eat it. I want to see if it's the same. Mm. It might not be. It's pretty bitter. Yeah, it's a weird texture when you first put it in your mouth, but if you kind of let it melt a little bit, it's actually not that bad. I don't like the chocolate. I wish they'd left the chocolate out completely. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, the peanut butter's really good. Yeah. The peanut butter's good. I don't like the texture of this. I'm telling you, mm. I do not like the texture. Like I said, it reminds me of shredded wet paper a little bit when you first put it in your mouth. Mm. The peanut butter's not bad. The ice cream itself is not too bad flavor-wise. But I agree, the texture's a little off-putting. For me, this is this is my thought process. And the chocolate ruins the peanut butter, by the way. Um, out of the two, I would definitely get the peanut butter. Yeah. I really like the peanut butter flavor. Mm -hmm. The peanut butter itself tastes like real peanut butter. Yeah, I have to eat around all those chocolate pieces. Right. You would want to pick out the chocolate pieces and throw them away. Just being honest. It's terrible. It's incredibly bitter. Even if you like dark chocolate, I think that's going to give you a run for your money because mm. it's pretty, pretty dark and it kind of ruins the whole experience. Um, I would, if I had to choose one, I would get the peanut butter, I but do. I personally would never get these again. Um, we I do, think if you're on keto though, try the peanut butter and chocolate. You might like it. Yeah, you might. If you try it, let me know what you think. Because yeah. I would rather have the birch benders. Kevin was talking about the, the like the mug cake, the muffin yeah. type things. I would rather have the, one of those than this. Because this is my thought process. When you're buying this, I know it's not ice cream; it's a frozen dessert. But when you're buying this, your mind is thinking that this is like ice cream. And then you get it, and it's nothing like ice cream. Mm. This is nothing like ice cream, and frankly, it's nothing like other frozen desserts. It's not, this isn't even comparable to their Halo Top, the, the regular. Um, which has a different texture. Which too. has a complete, <laughs> yes, it has a different texture than ice cream too, but it is much closer to ice cream than this is. Oh yeah. To me, this is just like, it's. It doesn't have the texture of a frozen dessert even. I mean, yeah, frozen dessert is higher quality. Is That's what I'm saying. But there's higher standards to frozen dessert than this. I think this is, for me, it's just the bottom of the barrel, and I just wouldn't get it again. Yeah. Um, yeah. Now, but like I said, if you're desperate, if you're on keto and you've been gone from, gone from ice cream for a while and you, you really want ice cream. Then you might cream, not notice it. Try it. You might not notice. Or you might get over it. You might, you might just get used to it. Yeah, you might be willing to do that. Uh, if you do, you know, that's great. Uh, we have two more of these to try. We bought two more flavors. 
And uh, so we're gonna go in, you know, of course, and uh, go in with new eyes and new taste buds and, and give them a fair shake. So, um, because honestly, the peanut butter was, was good. I just, I don't care for anything else with it though. <laughs> so like, I mean, any of it, right. I just don't care for yeah, it. It's like I said, they could have, if they left the chocolate out, it would have been a much better experience. Right. And some people might say, well, you're not doing keto. Why are you trying keto food? Because I'm trying it for though, for just the normal taste buds that are eating everything else. And maybe you're not doing keto, but you think, huh, I wonder if I would, if I would like those. Well, I'm just letting you know, if you eat normal, typical ice creams, uh, then you are probably not going to like this at all. So I hope that helps you out and thanks for watching.